Hello. Um, this was a super big hit last week um, at the reverse raffle, and I was a little shocked, but pleasantly pleased. Um, so I'm going to do it again and do it a little different. Why mess with perfection? I don't know. I just thought, you know, maybe if we use heavy whipping cream and put stevia in, then it would totally be sugar-free. Um, and then we don't have all the, I don't know, the extra yuck. So I am starting with the same crust that I made. Um, and I'll post the recipe. So the crust that I had for last week, actually I'm just making it up because I don't remember what it was truly. So I'm just going to do what I think it was because I don't feel like looking at it. And then hope for the best, but I'll give you the real recipe because we know that was good. That's kind of funny. Um, so the, the nuts are from Georgia when I have my Georgia peaches come in the summer and I bought them and I put them in the freezer. Well, I didn't even remember. I just tried them. They are so good. Anyways, they were never opened, but, um, so obviously they're freezing cold and I just put the butter in, which then got hard. So I'm like, well, all right, so I'm going to, I'm making one of these for my friend whose husband absolutely loved it. He um, does not eat sugar apparently. And he seriously thought this was the best. Now I thought he was lying to me because I don't really know him. But he wasn't. So. And then my other friend, she loved it too. And so. Um. I'm going to make one for us and one for my friend's husband. So you just push it in here. You put sugar and butter and the nuts. And you put your oven at 350. Now. They put a whitewash on it, and I'm not going to this time only because it's out in the other fridge, the, the stuff, So, and I don't feel like messing with it. So I'm not going to put a whitewash. I think it'd be all right. Watch it crack up. I don't know. We'll see. Bake this for, let's try eight minutes because we did the other one for 10, but it was at 325. All right, well, that is baking. Two cream cheese, light cream cheeses, defrosted, and two-thirds cup of stevia, and one tablespoon of vanilla that's not open. Nails, they used to be really strong, and now I even take stuff for them. Okay, so there, well, now I gotta use a knife. I got these lids or whatever on them pretty good. All right, so we're gonna put a tablespoon of that in, the clear. And while, so that we only have one experience with the noise, I'm going to take this. Now, I get this at Aldi's because it's really cheap. It's $1.55 for 16 ounce, <laughs> which is pretty good. So I'm going to put the whole thing in my Vita mixer. There's 50 calories for one tablespoon. So, I mean, it's got five grams of fat. I'm not saying it's healthy. I'm just saying there's no sugar. And then I'm going to put a little vanilla, and I'm going to put a little sugar in there. Now they have the recipe on the side. Kind of not going to use it. Kind of maybe a little. Uh, so we need one. That's fine. Two, three, four. I'm going to put 
put frozen dessert because if I don't, for some reason the heat thing gets hot and then it'll get hot. So there we go on that. So you only have to hear this one time. Now we cannot put that on with it being hot because this will all melt. That won't be good. But I was thinking I could even do like that pretzel jello. I mean, because we're using nuts, but why can't we put sugar free jello on top? Roll it. Should still work. We gotta wait until the other stuff is cooked or baked, and then we will put this little ensemble together and get back. Okay, so I have, I'm gonna do um, jello. So I need to put four cups of hot water, no cold water. And I had strawberry banana, so I don't know if that's going to be any good. Sometimes just strawberry is good, but I can smell the banana. Um, but that's what we're going to use. And that's what I had. I mean, I might have some other. Okay, and I'm going to let it cool. So it's going to take a second. You stir it up. But I think that'll be so good on top of this, like the pretzel jello salad stuff. And it'll be all sugar free, low carb. I just don't know about the banana. Might switch it and do this one for the kids and strawberry. I just, I mean the banana is so strong. We'll see. Okay, so the crusts are cool. I'm gonna add to the top of them this cheese, cream cheese mixture. And then I'm gonna put them in the fridge and wait for the I did switch the jello to the strawberry without the banana. The banana just it smells so strong. I thought, mm, I don't know. All right. I feel like I could have maybe done I don't know. I might have to re look at this. That might be 
be too much because I want to put jello on top. Now that seems like it's like I can get jello on top of this. That one doesn't, so I might take some out. just make another crust or I could do a crustless too okay so you want to make sure and maybe in a 9 by 13 pan that's usually what you make it in it wouldn't have been so much And just smooth this as much as you can. And okay, I'm gonna put those in the fridge and wait for the jello. Okay, so you can either just eat it like that, it's been cool. Now, I I should have probably did the jello differently, but I'm not gonna worry about it. It most likely will seep down into the bottom underneath, because that's just what it does. I don't know if it will or won't. It's a little thicker. Hopefully it'll stay on top. And then I'm just gonna put lids on these and put them in the refrigerator for like six hours or so. hard part, I should have put them under a tray, the hard part is um, moving them, transportation, but oh well. Sometimes what I do is I pour this on while it's in the refrigerator, then I don't have to worry about moving it. Anyways, let it gel, and then you eat it. Yum, yum, yummo. Have a good day.